In this video, you're gonna learn how to set up Skype for students taking online music lessons. Skype works online, on your desktop, on your tablet or mobile device, and it's a great way to keep in face-to-face -face contact with your teacher. This video will cover how to set up your speakers, microphone, and webcam so that you can both see and hear each other during the call, as well as how you will receive documents through Skype during your call. So let's get into it. To begin, download Skype on their website, skype.com, or through the App Store, and follow the steps to create and set up your account. Throughout this process, you'll have the chance to put in your name and email, as well as the contact information of your teacher. Next, we're going to edit a few of the audio video settings. This process is similar on the app form as well as the desktop. First, we'll set up the microphone, speakers, and webcam. Make sure that the built-in microphone is selected and the built-in speaker output is selected. You can test that the microphone and the speakers are both working on this page. The app version will just have you agree to allowing Skype to use your camera and microphone, so click Allow. On the next page of the desktop, you can select your built-in FaceTime camera or an external webcam if available. Make sure this is angled to show your teacher a good view of the performance area. For guitar players and ukulele, that means having a good view of your picking and fretting hands so that your teacher can see your playing and provide comment on your technique. For piano, this means that the keyboard must be visible, and for vocalists, it's important to have your head and torso both visible so that your teacher can comment on your posture. Now that we've updated our settings and we've adjusted our camera, you're ready to join a meeting. You will receive an invite email from your teacher a few minutes before your lesson. And once you've accepted, you'll be able to join the lesson. Now you will always have the ability to adjust your settings within the meeting screen should something stop working. There is also a chat feature which allows you to receive downloads, practice plans, and other learning materials to help you work through the content of the lesson. There is a blur my background feature, which will keep your face in focus, but has a tendency to blur out parts of your instrument. So it is best to leave this feature off and removing features like this will also help to limit latency and ensure that your lesson goes smoothly. Once your lesson is finished, click to end the meeting and remember to check the chat for any files that your teacher may have shared with you. If you're having trouble with Skype or you just want a more straightforward method, you can always use the built-in FaceTime app on your tablet or mobile device. And this will allow you to easily call a phone number or email address to connect in seconds. As long as you have a Wi-Fi signal, you can take a music lesson from anywhere. For more tips and tricks on performing, songwriting, and other musical development, subscribe here to the Crescendo YouTube page to be notified when new videos are released. Thanks for watching this video and happy learning.